In this video, we'll show how to create geometry using a combination of surface modeling and solid modeling techniques. We'll start with a blank screen. With the box tool, we'll create a floor slab. We'll make sure the edge selection mode is on. Highlighting the edge, we'll select offset from the quad and define a distance. Now zooming in, we can highlight the boundary that has been created. Selecting extrude from the quad, we can create the first wall. We'll use the same approach to generate the side wall. Now we'll highlight the surface of this wall and select BIM Drag from the quad. By hitting Ctrl twice, we can create a copy of the wall on the opposite side. Next, we'll highlight the top surface of the wall and use BIM Drag to extend the height to match the first wall. Continuing the theme of showing how BIM drag can be used, we'll highlight the boundary of the floor surface. Select BIM drag and generate a new floor slab for the level above. Highlighting the end surface, we'll use BIM drag to extend it over the top of the wall below. Now we'll use edge offset again to identify the correct location for the first column. Using the PolySolid tool, we'll create the first column at the intersection of the two lines created and set the height. To align with the center line, we'll move it back half the column depth. Based on the building form being developed, the columns need to be on a grid that is 6000 by 7500 on two levels. We can quickly create the columns using the 3D Array command. The array is composed of two rows in the Y direction, three columns in the X direction and two levels in the Z direction. After entering the distances, the set is complete. Let's create some additional walls using BIMDRAG. Highlighting the boundary of the rear wall, we can easily create a copy of it. We'll do the same for the side wall. Now by selecting one wall and highlighting the other, we can select Connect from the quad to join the walls together and trim off the overlap. To set the angle for the walls, we can select both Enter 3D Rotate Specify a vertical axis where the wall meets the rear wall and provide an angle Both walls move together to create the skew Showing another BIM Drag feature, we'll highlight the surface of the wall Select BIM Drag and pull it towards the side wall The moment we cross the plane of that wall the submenu appears, and by selecting Control, we can join this wall to the side wall. Using the box tool again, we'll create the roof on top of the walls. We'll also utilize 3D Rotate again to create the sloped roof. We'll enter 3D Rotate, select the roof, specify the axis for the rotation, and enter the desired angle. Now we need to attach the walls to the roof. So let's see how that can be easily done. 
Highlighting the top surface of the wall, we can select Highlight Similar Faces from the Quad. This selects the top surface for the four walls as well as the top surface for all the columns on this level. Right-clicking again, we can select BIM Drag from the Quad. In a similar fashion as on the wall, as we move the cursor upward and cross the plane of the roof, the submenu appears. Hitting Control, we can join the walls and the columns to the roof. Take some time to experiment with the surface modeling techniques to see what you can create.